This is the second video in our M0 Manage onboarding series. If you haven't already, please go back and watch the first video in this series. Once all of your PMKs are equipped with the most up-to-date software, you can log in to M0 Manage and begin adding kiosks to your account. To log into M0 Manage, enter manage.meridiankiosks.com in your internet browser or use the link provided in your welcome email. The credentials are also provided in your welcome email. Once you have successfully logged in, select the Kiosks tab from the top left panel. Next, select the Root of Kiosk directory. From this screen, you can create a kiosk group or add new kiosks. Kiosk groups are used as folders and can have kiosks added inside of them to keep them organized. Adding a kiosk group requires a group name. Comments are optional. The kiosk name is the unique MAC address of the PMK unit. Must be in all caps, letters, and digits only. To find the MAC address on your PMK, first click the middle mouse button to enter the administrator password on the PMK. Next, select Application Information from the pop-up menu. The MAC address is displayed under Media Access Control Address. The kiosk location field can be named however the administrator sees fit to describe the PMK's location. This kiosk serial number is on the sticker of the back of the PMK device. Kiosk mode and content intervals should be left as default values. Once your kiosks have been successfully added to the M0 Manage, enter your login credentials into the PMK software. Begin by pressing the middle mouse button to enter the administrator password. In the pop-up menu, click on Application Settings. Select Others from the bottom of the page. Enable Callback setting and leave the callback URL unmodified. Then click the Save button under the callback setting. Enable communication address setting and enter your login email and login password for M0 Manage inside the empty fields. Then hit save. Step two is now complete. Your kiosks have been added to your M0 Manage account. For information on enabling email notifications, please proceed to our third video in this four-part series.